And this is my F8, F2 Bearcat. It's by far the best warbird we ever made. This plane can outfly, outdive, outdo everything by almost 50, 60 miles an hour and climb twice as fast turn inside a zero, could do everything. This is the highest level of engineering, the best we made, and then they stopped and they went to jets. It's got the same engine as the Corsair, but instead of having a big heavy steel prop, it's hollow. This is a hollow wing. It's controlled by its own hydraulic source, not off the engine. That makes it a lot easier landing, taking off, and flying in general, and for doing aerobatics. This thing here looks kind of bulbous, right? How could this be faster than a Mustang? Well, because it's got no rivets on it. You look at that fuselage, it's just one continuous piece of metal, right? The faster you go, the more turbulence, the more friction. Look how slick that is. And then the tail has a little angle to it. They designed the back tail with a little angle of attack. It helps it with P-factor and control. So it just wants to go straight up, straight down. It doesn't want to roll much. You got to do a little bit, a little bit in your feet, but your feet are not nearly as active and your trim is not nearly as active. When I take off, I go zero rudder because it just wants to go up and down. They figured out how to make this thing fly without that drag. Without the drag or with this beautiful one-piece skin, when you come downhill in this, compared to the Mustang or the Corsair, it just falls out of the sky. Very aerodynamic. I can tell you the pedigree to this plane. It's honoring Butch Voris, the first Blue Angel. I've been flying this aircraft for the last 13 years, taking it to air shows around the country. It's a magnificent airplane.